Hello, Julie here. Let's talk about the year 2012. Just to put you in the right mindset, let's talk about what was going on in the world. Christopher Nolan gave us his take on Batman. Skyfall was the newest 007. It's when we first met. Katniss and the Hunger Games. Twitter was 140 characters, not the 200 and something we have now. Facebook hit 1 billion users. Instagram had 1 million downloads in one day when they became available on Android. We all learned about, hey, I just met you and this is crazy. Um, even MySpace was still around. In our Dynamics Power Apps world, CRM 2011 was all the rage. We were getting new updates in our 2012 update. We were finally allowed to do plugins when we were online. We were introduced to Dialogues, the great step-by-step guidance that we could give folks. Dashboards and custom charts came around. We had custom activities, so we no longer had to repurpose facts into something else. We were able to implement sales goals, and we had multiple forms per entity so that I could have a main form and a secondary form, for example. It was also the year that a group of MVPs got together and published our CRM field guide. It was also the year that I asked the product team specifically at a meeting, I said, I need entity agnostic forms. I need a form that I can build out with whatever data I have in the system and present it to my users in a way that they can consume it in the easiest way possible that my users have never cared about my data model right there's the handful of people who want to see the reports at the other end and the data model means to them matters to them but every other user in the system doesn't care about that data model in any capacity but we were limited on their user experience based on that data model so if we were able to build forms and an experience for our users that were agnostic of the entity or table that was populating it, then we could give the users the ideal experience. And now at Business Application Summit 2021, nine years later, we have custom pages available to us. When I'm building out using the new app designer, I have a content type option available to me as a canvas page. And from there, I will be brought right into the designer so that I can make my canvas page with whatever data sources, entities, tables that I have available to me in that environment and build out that custom page. Let me jump right in and give you a quick demonstration and show you one of those in action. So just by way of quick demonstration here, we're looking at the out of the box sample application for innovation challenge. We've got our standard model-driven app with all the features and functionality. We've got our challenges view, ideas, and team projects. And what I've done is taken this app as my inspiration, and I have built a copycat of it. I've used the new app designer. It is in preview, so there are a handful of quirks and, and things like that right now that we can see. So, for example, you can see that my sub-area name has it stuck, and but you could see that I still have the icons. But here we have our challenges. From our challenges, we go to active ideas. Active ideas, we go to our team projects. And now we go to view challenges where I have a custom canvas page that I have built. So for simplicity purposes, what I have done here is simply made a page where I have a gallery of the challenges. From that gallery, I can click on any of the challenges. You'll see that this area over here on the right just responds and gives me that information. Down here, I have the name, title, and manager of the person who owns this record, the one who submitted it. I can also add a new challenge here and submit that. I can choose dates. I can put whatever it is I'd like in there and submit it. And when I get down here, you'll see that it's available now. There's so much more to come when it comes to these custom pages. I have a couple of new course ideas. I want to take you through some more on that innovation challenge and step you through the process of what I did to build out that example that I just shared. 
and then we want to jump into our Happy Tails doggy daycare solution that we've used in several of our courses and get you a hands-on lab to take you through step-by-step -step that process of building out your own custom pages. See you next time.